Welcome back, fellow Clashers, and thank you for checking out Clash of Clans Attacks, where it is time to get back into the official Town Hall 11 sneak peeks with... It is huge! That's right, it's absolutely huge. Not only the update, but the new basis. Yes, the new village layout. Now, you guys might have already seen this at ClashCon, but the size of the new village will be going up. So the old dimensions were 40 by 40 tiles, and the new dimensions now 44 by 44. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you sit down and do the math, it is actually a 21% increase in the square footage or tileage of a village layout. So it gives us an opportunity to try out more and different layouts, uh, wider spread out layouts perhaps, and maybe, just maybe, now we've only seen the confirmed addition of one new structure, and that is the 4x4 tile new defense, but who knows, they're increasing the size of the map, so could there be something else in store? Could there be multiple something else's in store? We can only wait and see. Now with the change to the village size, obviously there needs to be something done with the obstacles. And here is how it is going to work. An obstacle that is touching the grass, either in the grass all the way partially or just the edge touching the grass, will move with the outer edge of the village. All of the other obstacles are going to remain where they are and the village will expand outward beyond them. So for instance, right here, my Christmas tree and the cauldron next to it, they could end up being in the way for a new village design, but they won't move, they won't be removed, and it's up to the player to decide whether they need to take those obstacles out. And obviously, certain players like uh, this guy here might be happy about this as he's got a gem box and a Christmas tree right in the center of his base. Looks like he's been desperately trying to get a cauldron in there as well. Those obstacles will stay where they are, so worry not, dollies. Your precious gem box bases will still be fine. Now along with the new town hall level, the new defense, the larger villages, it only makes sense that the total battle time has been increased. So from 3 minutes to 3 minutes and 30 seconds, and this is good news for players of all Town Hall levels, especially those already using kill squads like Town Hall 9 war players. With an extra 30 seconds on the clock, you will see less and less attacks that run out of time. You will have more time to plan that attack as that attack is underway to use that kill squad. And again, like we heard spoken about at ClashCon, they are encouraging the use of kill squads. It looks like they want us to get away from the mass golem, mass dragon spam balloon deployment that you see so often right now. And I admit, I am using it. Pretty much everybody that I know who is trophy pushing is using that strategy right now. It's those three-star clan war players that are already using these hybrid attacks, these kill squads squad armies and those players are going to have a leg up on everybody else when the update finally drops and if that is not a shout out and acknowledgement to the war community from Supercell then I don't know what is. Now obviously farming will still be fine, Barch is still going to be effective and the extension of the battle timer will help farmers as well giving them more time to study a base to focus on grabbing the maximum loot possible. But for high end trophy pushers it does look like the meta will change but once again like I keep saying over and over about all aspects of the update. It is too early to tell exactly how these things are going to change the way the game plays out. Predictions are only that, just predictions, and after the update drops, I will be trophy pushing as far as I possibly can on Galadon. I will continue to practice those Town Hall 10 and 11 three-star war attacks and Town Hall 8 as well on my farmed out Town Hall 8 Galidon, and I will be farming on a brand new account as well. So I will have input on all three aspects of the game, farming, trophy pushing, and war. And as you know in past videos, I am willing to criticize where criticism is due. If it has to do with terrible AI, if it has to do with awful trophy offers or a lack of loot, I have talked about it. So again, we will just have to wait and see how differently the game is after this update. Now one more change to war and that is that preparation time has been reduced from 24 to 23 hours. It doesn't seem like much, but for clans that war constantly, what this should allow them to do is not have this gradual pushback of the war starting time. They will be able to start war pretty much at the same time every single war. So stay tuned, get ready for the update, and think about these sneak peeks as if it's Christmas Day. And now you don't open the best gifts first, 
you wait and maybe you open the underwear first and maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday uh, sneak peeks of this past week, they were the underwear. And today this sneak peek was like a t-shirt. It was kind of cool. You like the logo, but it's not your favorite. The toys, the electronics, they're still under the tree. Get ready, you guys. The best sneak peeks are yet to come. The big Town Hall 11 sneak peeks are just around the corner. So stay tuned as always. And thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe for daily Clash of Clans content. Check out my other episodes. And I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Gandalf, it's about time. Finally, Supercell has acknowledged a huge portion of the community that they have neglected for way too long. Gymbox community members, rejoice! Our time has finally come. This is so awesome! <laughs>